female cycle. We have the ovarian or um, the ovarian cycle, and then we have the uterine cycle. So ovarian cycle deals with what happens in the ovaries, and the uterine cycle deals with what happens in the uterine. So ovarian cycle technically causes the uterine cycle because ovaries are the source of hormones. Uh, so I'll start with that. So before birth, before um, the child is born, um, you will have all of your primor uh, all of the primary oocytes already formed. And what is a prim primary oocyte is a oogonium that has entered into meiosis one and is suspended in meiosis one. Um, and it's going to sit in primordial follicles, which is just one layer of very, very, very thin cell. So, and so, and that's going to remain that way until puberty. So during puberty, the hormones, the FSH and the LH, are going to start uh, being released by the anterior pituitary, and that will stimulate the follicular development. So several of those primordial follicles will start growing cells. So they're going to start growing granulosa cells. And um, granulosa cells, so one layer of granulosa cells, the follicle will become the primary follicle. You will still have your primary oocyte there. You will have in every follicle a primary oocyte up until right before ovulation. That's when primary oocyte will turn into the secondary oocyte. So just keep track of your follicles, but know that if you're not at ovulation, you are primary oocyte. So here, here's the primordial follicles. This is a primordial follicle as well. There's a primary follicle. There's a primary follicle. One layer of cell, bigger cuboidal cell. Um, here we have so secondary follicles. You're going to keep on growing your granulosa cells, and then you're going to have a layer of fecal cells that appears on the outside, and then you're going to have a formation, first formation of an antrum, which is a fluid-filled uh, space. So that follicle is going to be called the secondary follicle, and it's still going to have your primary oocyte in it. Right? Mm -hmm. So here's the secondary follicle. There's the secondary follicle. There's the secondary follicle as well. Then, when the secondary follicle gets big enough, it's going to be called the graphene follicle. So graphene follicle has lots of cells around it. That has a secondary oocyte. Has a second, yeah. So, yeah. If you see a graphene follicle, you can call it a secondary oocyte. So it has a big, big antrum. It's a big, big follicle, and it's about to rupture. So where is it? Huh? There's a um, right there. That's a graphene. There's a rupturing graphene, and here's a rupturing graphene again. So yeah, you can say that there's a secondary oocyte there, because at that time you have a peak. Remember, your estrogen causes positive feedback that causes the release of LH and FSH, and you have a lot, a lot, a lot of LH release from the anterior pituitary, and that causes your primary oocyte to turn into secondary oocyte. So what is a secondary oocyte? Pretty much, you finish meiosis one, right? So you undergone one division. So you split your uh, primary oocyte one, so you form a secondary oocyte and a first polar body. First polar body has the same amount of genetic material as the secondary oocyte, but it does not have enough cytoplasm or organelle, so it will not go on development and develop any further, so it's going to be resorbed eventually. So, secondary oocyte is in this meiosis 2, and it's suspended in meiosis 2 unless it's fertilized. So if it's not fertilized, it's going to be expelled from the body when the menses occurs, and it's going to be still a secondary oocyte that did not finish its meiosis 2. So again, here you see the graphene follicle with the secondary oocyte. Graphene? That's a secondary. That's a secondary. But this one is. This one is graphene. So that's your secondary. That's you can it's kind bigger. of say, follow the letter A A B B C C. Follow this letter. Because this, this is a little better than that. So just follow the letters to figure it out. Um. All right, and then we have the ovulation happening. So this right here, we developed our we were developing our follicle. So this phase right here of the ovarian cycle is called the follicular phase. The follicular phase is about yeah, about five. Yeah. Well, I'd say it's day one through day about thirteen. Day 14, that's the second phase, that's the ovulation. And then day 15 through 28, after ovulation, it's going to be a luteal phase. Why is it called a luteal phase? So your graphene follicle had ruptured, right? Mm -hmm. um, 
you are left with a scar tissue, but this is a woman producing scar tissue and primarily produces progesterone. Mm -hmm. um, so this structure right here is called the corpus luteum. So you can see corpus luteum here, here, and here. All of these are corpus luteum. Now, corpus luteum will hang around for about 13, 14 days. If uh, you don't give up, become pregnant, then it's going to degenerate up to 14 days. And it's not going to produce any more hormones. Um, where was I going? Oh, and it will become corpus albicans. If you do become pregnant, then uh, the implanted fetus will secrete uh, human chorionic hormone, and that will sustain the corpus Keep it going for about three months. So here we have follicular, ovulation, luteal phase. So let's correlate this now to the uterine cycle. <coughs> All right, so here, this produces estrogen. This produces progesterone. I mean, you have estrogen and progesterone in both, but this is primarily estrogen. This is primarily progesterone. So here, you don't have the estrogen from the follicle. You don't have the progesterone from corpus luteum because corpus luteum is dead. Right. So you have no hormone at all. So now we're in the uterine cycle. So day one, mental. Day one through about five or seven, that's mental. So that's... You have no hormones, so your uterine line in the functional layer of the endometrium will shed. Then after that, um, you need to repair the uterus that you just broke apart, right? <laughs> so, uh, and you have, it's under the function of your estrogen. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, it happens to kind of correlate to the follicular phase of the ovarian cycle. So, it's called the proliferative phase. The proliferative phase, that's uh, when you repair the uterus. Then here, ovulation happened. Now you have your corpus luteum, right? So day 14 and then on to about day 28 or so, 27 or so, um, you will be in secretory phase. Secretory phase, um, because you have corpus luteum that produces progesterone, progesterone builds up the uterine lining. It builds that functional layer of the uterus. Preparing for implantation because you've got the egg hanging around, right? So if there happens to be sperm, you're going to fertilize and then you have to implant, right? So you have to prepare your body for that to happen, right? So these, both of these would be your secret word thing. You said that one and that one? So uterine has, so ovarian has three stages, um, follicular, ovulation, luteal. Uterine has also three stages, menses, then proliferative, and then secretory. Oh, right. No, this is secretory. This is menses. Yeah, it's definitely day one. <laughs> oh, right.